Today we're taking a look at Ring's new stick up cam battery. I'm gonna be going over the features and showing you guys some demos of what this camera is capable of. So stay tuned. Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Steve from the YouTube channel, Steve Does. And I wanna thank you for joining me here at reviews.org. Now, I've actually done a review on the stick up battery cam on my channel probably over a year ago. That was the second generation. This is now the new third generation camera. I looked on Ring's website and I don't really know what the big difference is between the second and third generation. When I take a look at the website, I'm gonna show you guys here in their frequently asked questions. It said that it was redesigned. It's got motion activated notification, 1080p and two way talk. And it also looks like all of the cameras have been streamlined so that way whether you purchase the battery, the plug-in, or the solar panel one, they're pretty much all the same camera. They just, each box comes with a different power supply built into it. So I've got the battery powered here. If I decide later down the road, I wanna hook up a solar panel to it or have permanent power to it, I can just buy that power device and it will fit into this camera. Um, one other thing that I noticed is it looks like the mounting options are a little bit different on here than on the previous version that I had done. But that is what we're gonna be looking at today. In this video, I am going to be doing an unboxing. We will take a look at the features that are in the app, and then I'll be showing you guys some demo shots of what this camera can do. But before we get started, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos like this one. With that said, let's get started. Okay, so here's everything that comes in the box for the Ring Stick Up Cam. We have got the quick start guide, the battery, we've got a window decal if you want to put that in the window, a bag of screws and anchors, and then also a charging cable. So what you're going to start out with is taking the charging cable and charging up the battery right here. So you plug that in, let the battery charge up. Once the battery is charged up, you'll put it into the camera. So I moved the stand to the back of the camera, it was down here. I actually unscrewed it with the screwdriver, put it on the back here. But if we take a look here, it's in the lock position right now. We're going to turn to unlock it, open it up, and then the battery is just going to slip right inside here. Once the battery is in, we can close everything up and it is done. We see a light flashing on the front. Welcome to Ring. Follow the instructions in the Ring app to continue. And now we can go ahead and get this thing set up. All right, so setting up the camera is going to be really easy to do. I've got the app set up right here. We're gonna click on set up a device. I'm gonna click on security cameras and it's gonna ask to scan the QR code. So that is gonna be on the bottom of the camera here. Let's scan that code. It picked up the code, it wants to use my location. That is fine. For this camera, I'm gonna say this is gonna be an outdoor camera. We're gonna put it in the backyard and we're gonna say it is battery powered. So it's gonna go through all the steps, walking us through everything that we need to do, and it's gonna have little videos that we can follow along to get this thing set up. Like I said, this is really easy to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick the battery in. Welcome to Ring. Follow the instructions in the Ring app to continue. Okay, light is flashing on the front. We're gonna click on that. Wants to join my Wi-Fi, perfect. Stick up cam is connected to the Ring app. All right, and it's asking if it wants to connect it to the Wi-Fi that my phone is connected to, which I do, so I'm gonna click yes on that, so it's gonna skip Stick up through cam the steps. Stick connecting to the internet. Just a moment, Rome wasn't built in a day. Your Stick up cam is ready to use. With Ring, you're always home. So they made that setup a lot easier than it used to be. I didn't have to add and fill out any of my Wi-Fi stuff. It just pulled it all down and set it up on the camera here. So we are done. Okay, going through some extra steps here. Perfect. Let's go ahead and see if we can. I'm currently updating the internal software. Okay, so it's updating the software. We're going to take about five minutes. So let's give it the five minutes to update, and I will show you guys some of the examples of what this camera can do. Okay, so now that the update is done, I wanna show you guys the latency of this camera. So we've got the camera loaded up right here. I'm gonna to tap to go live on it. And then I wanna see how much of a delay the camera actually has. So, my hand down. 
It's about a one second delay with this camera, which is actually really good. And I would have to say is probably one of the better latencies that I've seen on most security cameras. All right, now that we have the camera all set up, this is what it looks and sounds like. It's about probably two feet away from me right now, but I want to show you guys what it looks like with good lighting in here with the studio. I'm then going to take it outside. We're going to get it set up. I'm going to show you guys what some outside shots look like as well as some nice shots. So let's jump over to those. doing an audio video test of the Ring stick-up cam battery. This is what it looks and it sounds like. I'm about 10, maybe back up to about 15 feet away from the camera right now, but this is what it looks and sounds like. What do you guys think of the image? Here is the night shot of the camera. This is what it looks like with the infrared turned on and the night shot what it looks like. So what do you guys think? All right, so what did you guys think of the demos of this camera? To be honest, they were trash. They were horrible. They're some of the worst I have actually ever seen. And the audio, I mean, it keeps cutting out. I could barely hear anything. For this being a premium camera, what I would consider a premium brand, Ring, I've tested a lot of their other things. I have never had as horrible experience as I actually have with this camera right here. It almost makes me wonder if I have a defective product. If you guys have this camera and you are not experiencing things like this, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear your feedback. I feel like Ring is a company that I have a lot of hit and misses with. Their video doorbell I thought was okay. Um, Comparing it to other doorbells out there, it's probably one of the worst doorbells as far as big name brand doorbells out there. It's good, I mean, you'll get by with it, but it's just okay. This camera, horrible, but I've had good experiences with some of their other products. I did a review not too long ago on their little indoor cam. I thought that was a good product. I actually enjoyed using that. But for me, as one of their main outdoor camera products right here, I cannot recommend this. If you guys wanna look for something else, Eufy's a good brand, Nest is a great brand, especially with Nest's new subscription pricing that they just came out with. They are really making some good steps out there. So those are some other companies for you guys to look into. And before you guys think this might be a networking issue, I've got fiber coming to the house with 100 meg up and 100 meg down. I'm also using the Google Wi-Fi in the house too. So out of all the other products that I have tested, I've never had an issue like this before. This is just not good. If you guys want to find out some more information on this camera or any other security cameras, check out reviews.org for more information. We'll have a link in the description below. If you guys want to see more from me, check out my channel, Steve Does, where I do a lot of smart home tech and just other cool tech reviews. If this video was helpful for you guys, give it a thumbs up. Let me know that you liked it. I want to thank you for joining me here at reviews.org and I will see you guys in the next video.